Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to How to Crop Photos Like a Boss. Uh, this video is going to go through all the different ways in which you can crop photos in Google Drawings. Uh, and uh, for our purposes today, we're going to use this photo of Mount Rushmore. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first things first, uh, just a simple crop. If you have this image selected, we've got the blue outline around it. You go right up here to the crop image icon. Let's say we wanted to get rid of that tree line. Simply select that black bar, drag up to wherever you like, deselect that crop image, and there you are. Uh, you can also drag from the corners. So you can pull it in like so. And if you ever make a crop and change your mind, you say, oh, I did not intend on chopping off Teddy Roosevelt's chin like that, uh, you can always return back to the ori original image. So you see that all that stays intact. Once you crop, it is not lost forever. Uh, there we are. You can just simply drag and drop back to the original image, and all is good. OK, let's go over some other options for cropping in uh, Google Drawings. Now, uh, we're all familiar with the shape options over here. Well, you can crop an image into basically any one of those shapes as well. So if you go up here, just to the right, there's this drop down arrow, says mask image, and you can crop into any uh, shape you so wish. Okay. Uh, and that's an ob awesome, awesome option. So let's go ahead and look at this a little bit more. Let's try this one. Let's say that we want to crop into this kind of this polygon type shape. Uh, we want this a little bit more narrow. We want this slope to be a little bit steeper on this edge. So all we have to do is come up here to this uh, yellow, tr um, yellow diamond here and drag that in closer together. And there it is. Uh, so what happens though, if you are missing part of the image that you want to include? So we are currently not in the crop image uh, setting. So let's go ahead and go back into that. We're going to select crop image. Now we see the whole thing plus the visible part of the shape. So this kind of this lighter area, we're just going to simply drag over like so. We want to capture that. And there you are. OK, uh, so let's try some other shapes. Uh, there we are. OK, uh, so going through that again, what happens if, uh, let's say, for instance, that we want the uh, to snip off one corner. So here we are, we've snipped off one corner, you know, that works out really well if there's, you know, something else you want to fit in this space. But what happens if you actually want this corner to get snipped? There's really no way uh, to, there's no options for just that one corner. So what you do is you simply rotate the whole thing. So I'm going to come up to this uh, uh, circle uh, and we're going to rotate the whole image around by 180 degrees. And there we are. OK, so now we've got the, uh, the snipped corner in the right location, but our image is upside down. And that's not going to work. So what we have to do is let me bring this back into the center. So what we have to do is go back into our crop image, select that, come back to this uh, pivot ball and bring that back around to zero. And what we've done is we kept the shape intact, but we've rotated the image. Uh, so there it is. So now you can fit uh, whatever it is you need on that side. And again, you can always change the angle of that uh, snipped corner. OK, and let's go ahead and there we are. OK, return back to normal. OK, there's one last thing that we want to do, uh, and that's the circle option. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to mask into a circle. But because our image is more of a rectangle, rectangle than it is a square, um, we only have the options for this, this oval. And what happens if you want a circle instead of an oval? Well, there is a way to get that done. So let's go ahead and go back to this. The first thing we want to do uh, is temporarily change the transparency. That's another option for images. You go up to image options. And we're going to change the transparency to uh, pretty light. Okay. 
Okay, now we're just gonna make a shape. This is gonna get deleted later. But we're just gonna go ahead and make a shape uh, and make sure that it's square. Hold down the shift as you're creating that. And there we are. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go back to our image. We're gonna bring this up to the front and we're going to crop into that square. The square is there so that we can uh, have something to align with. So you see that blue bar that just came up along the bottom. We want to snap to that grid because we know that is indeed a square. So here we are. And there we go. We got both the bars there. So we know that this image is now square. So we can crop that. And now that our image is a square, we can go delete the square that we made. We're left with just our image. Select our image, drop down to our circle option, and here is our circle. Now, once again, if that's a scenario where uh, you know, you're, you're happy to have the circle, and that's good, but you're missing the wrong person. Maybe you're trying to focus more on George Washington, but he's no longer in this image. So all you have to do is go up to the crop. We're going to drag him so that he's somewhat centered. If you want him to be even larger, you can actually select this, make the image larger and recenter. And once you deselect the crop icon, there it is. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways in which you can uh, crop images in Google Drawings. Uh, it's just a matter of playing with the different shapes, uh, moving in and out of that crop option, and uh, good luck. Enjoy.